Hello there, welcome back to my channel. So after going for a week without a phone, I've got my smartphone back, I did as I expected and I've just um, disabled most of the notifications and things are a hell of a lot better. But time to record again and what we're going to look at this time is this. This old compact camera from the 1990s. It's the Canon SureShot Zoom Max. Um, it, I bought this in March 1994 for a shade over £150. So in today's money, this will be about £300. So you can see how uh, technology has moved on. The similar kind of um, camera with similar features. A digital camera these days would probably cost less than 100 and it would be a hell of a lot more compact than this brick. But I absolutely love this camera and I'm going to see what it's like now taking pictures with an old-fashioned 35mm film. It was a fairly decent point-and-shoot camera for the time with three-point autofocus, um, red-eye reduction, lamp and um, obviously the uh, the electronic uh, wind on and, uh, and rewind digital display on the back now it does it's amazing the display is still active now this hasn't been used for must have been 17 years or so and it appears to be a film in there i have got absolutely no idea what's on it and i don't know what condition it'll be in and it's also near the end so one of the things i'm going to have to do as part of this vlog is to have this film developed as well as get a new one so let's see what kind of battery this baby needs there you go the good old coin right, what have we got right well these are cr123 batteries uh, they're fairly widely available still, so it shouldn't be a problem getting new ones of those. I'm going to need to do some shopping to get two more of these batteries and a film. So my shopping trip for a battery and a film for this old camera actually turned out to be a lot easier than I expected. That I managed to pick up from Wilkinson's and I even managed to get a 35mm film from Tesco's. The lady behind the counter said that they're kind of getting resurgence in uh, people buying this kind of film now. So it's a good time to do the experiment. So with any luck, the display should tell me now that the battery is OK. And yes, it is. So as there's a film in it, let's turn it on. My goodness me, <laughs> it's fired up. There we go. Right. Next thing is to take a picture. Say so, cheese. <laughs> I've got to use the viewfinder. All right, it's wound on. I'm beginning to think this might be 36 exposure film. I hope not. <laughs> It's a 36. I got another 10 pictures to take. As it was, the next picture I took, the film came to the end and rewound. So it was a 24 exposure after all, just had a few left on the end. Now this is an easy load camera, so I should just be able to pull it along there like that and shut the back. With a lot of cameras, it wasn't that easy. But let's see what happens. There we go, it's caught and we're ready to go. Let's go and take a picture of the kids. Right, now, now smile at this camera, not that one. This camera, not that one. All right, ready? One, two, three. Now look at me. Ow. There we go. There we are. That, that flash sometimes makes me go. It was a bit, a bit blinky, was it? It was a bit too bright. Let me see. <laughs> That's because it's an old-fashioned camera and I have to use the film and get it developed before That's you can see the reason. picture. That's one reason why I didn't ask. What you knew? I thought it might have been. Ah, oh, clever crops. I didn't know it would be like that. In terms of features, 
fairly minimal really although um, it's fairly standard for the time uh, we were talking about the uh, three-point autofocus there's also a macro facility on it which means you can actually get as close as uh, 45 centimeters away from your subject which again is pretty rubbish for today's standards but was good in the 90s for, um, a, uh, for a point and shoot camera so on the back there's your on and off button there we go which uh, does this So there's an integrated lens cap, which is quite useful. Um, and then you've got flash modes. So you've got your red eye reduction, which is the default. So that shines a light at the subject before the main flash. And then you've got flash on. It flashes while it's charging up, flash off. And a slow sync mode, which uses a slow exposure to light up the background whilst exposing the subject with the flash. And that is it. And then you've got your macro here um, and your self timer button here. So the, the usual case where it gives you 10 seconds to um, go and take a selfie. That was how you took selfies back in those days. You used the self timer facility because you couldn't easily just point the camera at your face and see the results. On the top you've got your zoom controls here so that zooms in, oh look at that, and you zoom out using that one and there's your shutter. And that in a nutshell is that. Join me next time when I actually take this camera out and take some pictures with it for real and then I get the film developed. I don't know what kind of challenge that's going to be. See you next time.